Hey, hello, you're stuck in traffic with Wolf Gordon. A couple minute riff on IT and IT security. Today talking about what's frankly to me the most exciting aspect of this field, and that is this. That any one of us at any given time, with how new our field is and how much opportunity out there can really truly make a monumental difference. You know, I was at uh, Converge, I was talking to a lot of young students, a lot of um, young uh, entry-level professionals, people who I want to work with, and that was one of the things that uh, this one guy said to me that stuck out. I'm like, well, why do you want to get security? He's like, because earlier generations have figured out a lot, right? We've laid down um, TCP IP networks, we've figured out the ins and outs, but there's still enough room at the periphery, there's still enough frontier, there's still enough green space where any one of us at any given time can contribute to the state of the art. Like, that is fantastic. I love that. I love it. I want to do it. <laughs> Count me in. And uh, there's a great story around Wanna Cry that really, in my opinion, um, highlights this. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. Tip to you. Um, do some research on why Wanna Cry was stopped, specifically around malware tech blog. Here's the thing there's a lot of old systems out there, right? We talked yesterday about. Uh, Windows XP in manufacturing. Uh, there's been studies that show that XP in the desktop still accounts for some 8% of the machines, or possibly as, as many as 2 million end user workstations, and that doesn't even take into account manufacturing and medical and everything else. And there's a lot of Windows boxes with the SMB ports open. Now, it's hard to say if they are Windows or not. It's hard to say if it's an SMB protocol or someone just decided to use TCP-445. But take a look at some of the scan results from Shodan. If you want, check out Viz's Twitter feed, uh, where it's anywhere from one and a half to two million boxes, two million IP addresses, two million hosts listening on those ports on the internet active. <clears throat> so this flash ransomware hits, right, takes out a quarter million boxes. And it seems like a lot. But then you stop to realize that there's probably two million hosts, you know, around the internet that they could have went at. There's probably, you know, several more million uh, behind firewalls. And I go, well, why was it only a quarter million, right? Well, come to find out the reason why is because it was killed. It was stopped. Someone pulled the kill switch. Uh, someone was a guy named Marcus, and Marcus is like, uh, if you read the news, he's like the quintessential like hacker stereotype. I mean, I, I wanted to be Marcus when I was 22 years old. All right? They describe his servers in his room and the stacks of computer equipment, the empty pizza boxes, right? His love of surfing and these sort of things, and his love of malware. He's a security researcher, 22, didn't go to college, went right into the field, and he does security research and publishes a, a pretty popular blog. So he's pulling down Wanna Cry, he's taking a look at it, he's dissecting this malware, and he realizes, right, that there is this domain. He realizes that this domain um, is one of the things that's being checked, and he wonders what it does. So he buys it, he buys it, registers it, doesn't cost much to register things, registers it, and realizes the kill switch. And all of a sudden, right, if you ever seen that like scene in the Matrix where all the robots just stop and they fall like rain, that's what happens. Bots all over the place start calling back, hit his uh, domain, kill switch is activated, and they all just stop. Quarter million, it would have been a lot, lot worse if it wasn't for this one guy. This one guy who was truly like the quintessential stereotype of the lone hacker facing the the, uh, the bot hordes, right? Uh, I love it, I love it. And he stopped it, this 22 year old stopped it with nothing more than uh, a really good mind, nothing more, really good mind, good education, a lucky hunch, and $10 US. So yes, I, I love this field, yes. I love the young people who are breaking into it. Yes, yes, by God, with every fiber of my being. I agree with that guy in Converge. He's like, why am I here? Because there's a frontier there. This is still a time and place where I can have meaning, I can have impact, and uh, you play your cards right, you can stop a, uh, a flash ransom. It's a pretty good story. Kind of makes me wonder what I was doing with my time. I should have been doing something else. What do you think? Um, just give you some hope, just give you some optimism. What's your takeaways? Hit me up in comments or social media. Cheers.